y'all y'all so my son took a pen and decided that he wanted to write on the couch you see this i don't know how or how you do it you blow my mind without a word oh stuck upside down i might be dreaming there's no way back now With you all night long Dive in, babe, you know we can't stop this Come on and show me what you got Cause channel if you are new here my name is Donio but you can call me Donny B thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Donny B TV all right so in today's episode it is going to be a weekly reset and what my resets look like is get as much done as you can in the week in order to perfect in the beginning of the week to prepare for the rest of the week so as um, as you already saw I went ahead and I took off my bed linen as I'm going to be washing that on today and then I am going to cook dinner um, it's going to let I'm cooking dinner to last for a couple days okay so if you see me stumbling on my word over my words in 2023 we're not recording over and over and over again taking multiple takes we're gonna keep it rolling because why this is real life this is realistic and it does not have to be perfect because life is not perfect all right so if you wonder like oh my gosh she just said this and said that and she's stuttering and stuff you know what it, it, it happens it's going to happen so with that being said i am going to um clean my bed linen i'm also going to be cooking and the cooking is going to be lasting for well the meal that i prepared is set to last for today and at least tomorrow and then um let's see i have a couple of loads of clothes that i need to fold and you know whatever else that i need to do on today i know that i have to get some of the boys clothes washed as well because they are all out of jeans so i'm going to be doing my laundry sooner than later yeah i forgot Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that they didn't have any more jeans left. Um, I usually do my laundry later on in the week, but I didn't. So let me go ahead and get started because I'm already late and behind uh, by putting those clothes in the wash and the dryer. So come on, let's go, y'all. Like I told you before, I'm going to start this day off with making sure that my bed linen is clean. I'm going to go ahead and just throw them in the wash with a little Tide. It has an odor defense on it. It's advertised for like gym clothes. And so my husband goes to the gym a lot. And so that's why we have this multi-purpose or all-purpose um, Tide laundry detergent. And I'm just going to fill the washer up with all of these smell goods. Everything that um, I can pull out of the cabinet. Scent beads, laundry detergent you name it um, I like to lay on my pillow and smell the divine odor of clean clothes and so in order to make sure that everything is up to my standards I'm just gonna load the laundry uh, the washing machine up with everything and also with me loading it with everything I am also making sure that my bed linen are thoroughly clean We was raised a little different I Used to be ashamed who I was Now I'm paid by the sentence Taking my time with it Baby, give me yours So I could get some butterflies trapped in your rib cage. Let me know we on the same page Give me with a text voice, note or an emoji Waiting on day for your name 
Now, if you are looking for a laundry video, um, this is not the video. I'm just going to be washing a couple loads, but if you want an in-depth um, laundry motivation or a laundry video, I got you covered. Go ahead and check out my playlist. I have tons of laundry videos. They're waiting for you to give you all the motivation that you need to tackle those pesky piles of laundry. While I have the laundry going, I'm gonna go ahead and start on dinner tonight. My husband requested Cornish hens, and so what husband requests, husband gets. I'm just gonna layer the bottom of this pan, and I'm just mixing around some bell peppers, some tricolored bell peppers, as well as some diced onions, and I'm just going to layer it on the bottom. Now, the secret weapon here is this Tony Saturn injectable. I inject this into my Cornish hens. It comes with its own syringe, and also I just have to assemble it by putting the needle on it and then I'm just going to be injecting my carnish hands with this injectable butter. Um, I'm not going to cross contaminate my jar so I'm just going to pour a little bit into its own little separate container and this is where I am going to be dipping with um, or dipping from because there's no way that I'm going to use all of this uh, marinade in, into these four Cornish hens. So I'm just gonna take one hen at a time and I'm just gonna inject it with the injectable. Now, if you're using this, be careful because it does has quite a bit of sodium. I've used this before and I put just a little bit too much in it and boy, these Cornish hens were extremely salty. So I'm just gonna pick a couple points to make sure that it is thoroughly um, distributed throughout the Cornish hens. I'm gonna lay it on this bed of um, bell pepper and I'm just gonna move on the next one. Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect. It's so hard to decide. Oh, I know. He got me good in his pocket. I know that I'm just a treat. Well, the taste is better. Oh, go on. Chewing my bones out when he's done his face. After all of my hens have been injected, I'm just going to layer it in, in um, with some of my seasonings of choice. I'm using some garlic powder, onion powder, a little accent, some smoked paprika. Boy, smoked paprika, if you have not heard me say it before, but smoked paprika is my favorite favorite spice so i'm going to put some smoked paprika some pepper some lowry seasoned salt and as well as some maggie seasoning also what i didn't mention before if you're going to be injecting your cornish hens like this what i would advise for you to do is to inject them the night before it adds um it gives your hen a little um, or more opportunity to soak up all of that flavor and to hold in some of that flavor to marinate and i wish that i had done that but we just got these this morning and so I didn't have enough time in order to inject them and let them sit but hey it turned out just the same um, but I know that it could have been better but it turned out pretty good After flipping and seasoning the underside, I'm just gonna put a little flour in the bottom of the pan because I want a little gravy. And after I do that, I'm just gonna pour like a cup of water in here. Um, this water is going to allow the it's going to mix with the juices that drain from the hen as well as um, the flour and it's gonna create a, a gravy for me. My oven is already preheated to 375 and I'm cooking these hens for 60 minutes. Y'all, y'all, so my son took a pen and decided that he wanted to write on the couch. You see this? So, I saw where you can apply rubbing alcohol. So I have a towel, 
have some rubbing alcohol and I am going to put some rubbing, stop it, stop. Put some rubbing alcohol on the towel. Watch this. Y'all see this? You see that? It's coming off. All right, so put a little more elbow grease into this and see how clean I can actually get it. Did you see that? Lord have mercy. My gray couch. And this is what the towel looked like. Jesus. This is what it looks like. It's not completely gone, but as you can see, it's much better than it was. I'm supposed to clean it with some cold water, but I just don't see all of it coming out, even just cleaning it with cold water. Uh, gosh, I might let this dry and try to clean it some more or again later on. But yeah, the before and the after, this is the before. And this right here is the after. After one clean it one time with um, some alcohol oh my baby why do they write on everything Now that my bed linen is dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and make my bed. And we don't do it all fancy dancy around here. I do not steam my sheets. I do have a steamer, but I do not use it for my sheets. In all honesty, I use that um, linen steamer for my hair. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you have a steamer and um, you're wondering how you can add more moisture to your hair, use your linen steam steamer, but be careful because some of the um, condensation from the steamer can drop on you and burn but if you're careful and you know what you're doing um, you can use that for your hair okay 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 I digress we're uh, cleaning here at this point I realized that I did not put the protective cover on the mattress so I have to take off the sheet and in, um, in order to put it on and um, as you saw I already struggled with putting that fitted sheet on anyway I don't know what was going on here but I'm gonna go ahead and put my mattress cover on here just to protect my mattress So I know you may see some imperfections here, but hey, we are imperfect people and we make imperfect beds over here. Only thing we're gonna do anyway is pull the sheets back and lay down in it and get it all wrinkled and messed up anyway. So it is later in the day and there's no reason for me to perfect these sheets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the, um, the comforter up. Now this comforter, we it's too thick and too big for us to put in um, the washer and dryer. So we just take it to, um, the um, cleaners every like month and a half in order to make sure that it's thoroughly cleaned. Off camera, I did fold a load of my husband's clothes that were sitting in the dryer. Um, like I stated in my last laundry video, we all are guilty and don't say that you're not because I know that you're guilty of it too, of leaving a load of laundry in the dryer. And so 
he likes to put his own clothes up so i just fold them up and put them on the bed so he can put them up where he wants them to go so it is all dry now and this is what it looks like now now it's not completely gone but for the most part from a distance you can't really see it move boy so that's what it looks like from a distance compared to where it was I think that that's a big improvement. I might take do another, try it again with some more alcohol to see if I can get more off. But the, from where it was, that's pretty darn good. It's like, a, my couch is like a suede type material. So yeah. Dinner's done. Here's the results. As you can see, one of the hens is missing because my husband got a little hungry. I couldn't eat a whole hen, so I just cut one in half. I have some rice and gravy, some greens, as well as some sweet potatoes. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Donnie B TV. On your way out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, enjoy your day.